Hello, we're the Toxic Community Reporters and we're up your street. We're based here in Toxter, Liverpool, Merseyside and we work right across the region. The Toxter Community Reporters want to tell the stories that you wouldn't normally find anywhere else. The stories reflect the diverse interests, concerns and experiences of our reporters' communities. With our mobile media devices and blogging skills, we aim to enable the Merseyside community to tell their stories. Our main base is in Toxter but we have little subgroups operating all across the region. Our reporters produce reports on a wide range of topics, including local events and organisations such as this one on the Flory. The Florence Institute, known as the Flory for short, is a former youth club in Toxteth, recently renovated with funding from the National Lottery. In its new role as a community centre, the Flory is currently hosting an exhibition by local Toxteth artists, under the title, Love or Nothing. I'm Sarah Nicholson, I'm a, an artist and a member of TAG, that's the Toxteth Art Group. Um, we are a loose affiliation of artists working in and around Toxteth area, and this is one of our exhibitions. We've gone for the theme of Love or Nothing, and that has set us all different challenges while we've sort of, I suppose, explored the, the different concepts of relationships, of um, ourselves and our own position in relationships. The issues and concerns of our local communities, such as the closure of a community bank, and environmental projects that are happening across Merseyside, such as this one about Dutch Farm. Um, the YMCA started the Homeless Hostels group uh, in about 2010. Uh, and the idea was the homeless hostels growing food together um, and then we'd, we'd, we'd put it back into the community, put it back into the hostels. But we found out about a piece of land called Dutch Farm, which, which we're at today and we're having an open day here. So we started building here last year, about August, um, and we built this first polytunnel, 125 foot by 30 foot. It's got a triple line irrigation system um, and it's, it's, just, it, it's been in operation now for about four months. We've just done our first crop. Uh, and we sold it to the local schools, Food Alliance. Um, so we now we can sort of say we're an operating um, enterprise now. The plans are to build four more polytunnels and work with our neighbours, which is which is a learning disability unit uh, called the Green Team, and also a community composting scheme called Rotters. Uh, and we should be in full production, we think, by August next year, where we'll, we will have five polytunnels up, five greenhouses, and again we'll be supplying to the schools and local hostels. Some of our reporters have received training from People's Voice Media and are now Platinum Community Reporter Trainers. With funding from the Big Lottery Awards for All scheme, we've delivered four community reporting projects across Merseyside. One with a group of children, the second with a women's group, the third with a group of community volunteers and the fourth with SHAP service users, all of which were really great. We also worked with Liverpool Biennial on the 2012 programme. We were approached by lead artist Dora Garcia to work on her outside exhibit. The role of the community reporters in this project was to go out on the streets of Liverpool and ask people what they would talk about if they were on TV. Some of the people interviewed in the day would be invited back in the evening to participate in a talk show. LHT commissioned us to train some of their tenants in how to use community reporting skills to conduct consultations. Once trained, they conducted a consultation with other tenants about how the welfare reforms will impact on them. The results of the consultation will be used by LHT to inform their future practice. What we've learned with community reporting is that mobile low-end equipment is sometimes easier for groups to learn with than professional kit. Community reporting can also be used to evidence and monitor other projects that we're working on. We also use community reporting as a marketing tool. We find that community reporting can be really creative and used in lots of different ways. And most of all, people really love community reporting.
So, what are our plans for the future? One of our reporting groups is currently writing a heritage lottery application. They plan to use community reporting as a research tool in order to collect people's memories. We're also currently working on a funding application to work with YPASS and young people who access their service and use community reporting as a way of telling their stories. And our SHAP community reporting group are currently working with us and Halton Libraries to submit an Arts in the Libraries fund with the Arts Council. To find out more information about the Toxtuff Community Reporters, go to www.toxtuffcommunityreporters.wordpress.com.